Hello everybody, I'm Ixicol, and in this video we're going to install the MTR mod which allows for elevators and metro so you can have a train service in your city if you want to. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as we dive into the installation of this absolutely wonderful mod which will help your city builds. Step 1 is downloads. First you need to get yourself the fabric loader. This is so you can install all the mods on your Minecraft launcher. Download that and leave it in your downloads folder. Grab the Fabric API and get this for 1.20.4 because that's the only version that the Metro works on, sadly. I'm going to explore the building as we download the next mod. This is the Station Decoration mod, again for 1.20.4 on Fabric. Once you've downloaded that, leave that in your Downloads folder. Some of these are quite large, but don't worry about it. Once you've got that one, we can move on to downloading the Joban Client mod. This is important to let the Metro go and you've got more decoration blocks here. Download that for Fabric and again you want that for 1.20.4 this one took me a really long time to download so let's enjoy this elevator music for a moment nice so head over to modrinth and get yourself the minecraft transit railway mod again this one is for 1.20.4 and it gives you a bunch of instructions with it but it also tells you you can make elevators with this mod which is absolutely exciting again download that for 1.20.4 set it for fabric and download it leave it in your downloads folder this one took me a long time to download i'm sorry about that so let's enjoy mm, elevator and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i'm trying to build it up i'm trying to build it up i'm trying to become something aren't I once you've got that downloaded it should be finished about now you can get yourself the MTR London Underground add-on this is important if you want to have trains to look like the London Underground they look really cool download that one that's for 1.20.4 as well it doesn't go higher than that sadly but it doesn't matter it's still quite a powerful mod here I'm just building an elevator it's pretty cool isn't it step two we've got to install fabric click on the launcher in your downloads folder once that opens you've got to select a profile make that for one point twenty point four leave create a profile checked you definitely need one of those once you've installed it it's a very simple process from here on in we've just got to configure the launcher and then move on to putting the mods in the folder that's it really so here look we're going to move on to step three configuring the launcher load up your minecraft launcher i've got a bunch ready but you need to make a new one so you can install it here you can select the fabric launcher we've just installed 1.20.4 and then i'm going to call it elevators because that's what it is once that's finished you also need to add a folder so go into your minecraft folder here and make a new folder this is very important otherwise you're going to have mods all over the place so call this one elevator go into this folder and then press upload at the bottom now you're done at the bottom right hand corner of your launcher you can save it and launch yes i accept the risks it shouldn't be too much of a problem click play once you press play you've just got to wait for it to load don't forget it's the elevators one that we've made in the game, you can change your settings. I like to turn the music off. Change my keybinds real quick. I like to use sneak as C. Change my hotbars. I do use those from time to time. And the command button. Great. Once we're in the game, we can create ourselves a new world. Set it to creative. You could even set a flat world if you want to. Wait for the game to load up. It shouldn't take too long, although this one is. I'm disappointed. Anyway, it's loaded up now. I should be loading in nicely. There won't be any mods installed and the mouse sensitivity is crazy, so let me just change that. I like to use 35% with my particular mouse. Okay, so over here I'm going to get this. Look, there's no mods installed, but the launcher is now configured. So everything is ready. Save and quit. Come out again and go back into your launcher. Open up the launcher and the installation we've got, which should be elevators. Here you want to open up the folder. Now you've got things there drag over all of those mods that we downloaded earlier put them in the mods folder and you're done everything is ready to try out so we can hit play again on that particular installation wait for it to load go back into the world we just created here i am great if i press e i get the menu and you can see tab two and three it's now loaded up with all of the metro add-ons and the train system things this is actually very exciting i can't wait to build a train pretty cool and this one is what i'm looking at recently this is the elevator side of things it works here look you can see this elevator i built earlier and part of the video too if you press z you can get the menu you can press the different floor that you want and you can go up to the main office in the main office there's no stairwell you've got to break the glass to escape <laughs> oh they don't believe 
in stairs. They believe in elevators, and only elevators. In fires and earthquakes, they don't care. This is the mm, elevator facility in Mr. Marrow City. Here is the Oak Lovelies apartment block, and as you can see, I've installed an elevator with the MTR add-on. I'm going to go up to the fourth floor, all the way to the top. You can see two, three, four. Here I am. As I go out, I can explore the house, or I could go outside and fly away. If this video has been helpful, subscribe to my channel, send me a comment. If you want to, you can support me on Coffee, and if you really, really want to, send me a super thanks. I'm Ixicol, and I'll see you next time.